We have a solid cylinder of radius R and mass small m. So the cylinder is not massless. And we have two masses M1 and M2 hanging on each side. Find the angular acceleration of the cylinder and ratios of ratio of tension T1 by T2 of these threads. So again, what we discussed in problem 1.243 when we have masses hanging on the side of the pulley so the immediate alpha we can calculate by hanging these masses by sticking these masses on the ends of the pulleys so that's what we will do let's assume the angular acceleration is on this side because we are dealing with variables it does not matter so stick m1 and m2 to get alpha as tension is now internal force so this tension will become internal force for the system same goes with this tension so we can stick them there then use it in the original situation to get values of tension acceleration of masses etc so once we get the value of alpha we will know that acceleration will be for example for uh, this this mass m1 the acceleration will be alpha times r same goes as goes for acceleration of this mass also upwards and we can calculate tension also so M1G minus T1 will be M1 into alpha R. And for this case, tension minus M2G will be M2 into alpha R. So that will be the original situation. But initially for calculating alpha, let's just stick M1 and M2 to the ends. So now we'll find alpha by torque. Torque is equal to I alpha. So torque will be we are assuming alpha on this side so m1g minus m2g into r i about o will be because of the disc and because of the masses so because the disc it is mr square by 2 because of masses m1r square plus m2r square into alpha so this gives the value of alpha now this is the first part now the ratio t1 by t2 so as discussed m1g minus t1 is equal to m1 alpha r t2 minus m2g is equal to m2 alpha r and from the from here you just do t1 by t2 you will get the answer in terms of alpha you put the value of alpha and you will get your answer all right 